Good morning, Chuck Karstensen, Remax Results, another live video outside one of our coming soon listings up in Rush City today, 1005 South Hardy Avenue. And like on some of the videos, we have a side topic, and the side topic today is what exactly is a coming soon listing. So I'll talk about that, meaning I'll answer some of your questions and what that means. We've had this one on Zillow for a little while and it's not on the MLS because the owners are doing some work, like finishing the basement, decluttering, that kind of thing. So we'll show the house, talk about the house, talk about, talk about the topic of coming soon, and I'm always reminding you that we are in the middle of our contest, our weekly and six week long contest. Our weekly contest is if you share this video and let us know by commenting that you shared it, you are entered in a drawing, a weekly drawing for a $25 gift card of your choice. And if you share the video and share other videos we do, like the one I did yesterday or the one I'll do uh, next or something I do next week, each of those accumulate and then you're in the grand prize drawing at the end of the six weeks. And I think we're on week four now. So this week, the next week, and the following week and then that contest ends. So we've had a lot of entries, we're getting five, six shares, maybe seven, eight shares in some of the videos, but that's not a lot, so it also means it's fairly easy to win. And we thank those who are sharing the houses and the properties and sometimes just the videos we do in the office. So again, if you're watching this live or watching the recording, we're happy if you share it, we're happy if you have questions and wanna ask me questions on this property, on you know the topic like what is a coming soon listing and how's that work and right now I'm going to start talking about the home and talking about the topic as we flip the camera in a second all right we're going to show you front and back on this one we are outside you see it's two car garage inside it's five bedroom two bathroom pretty good size yard and out back we've got a storage shed there is a deck Newer roof on this one, just a couple of years ago, the roof was new. When we get inside, I'm not gonna show you much of the basement because the basement is, I'm showing you half the shed, I think, on the video here, so I gotta, I gotta walk and talk here. <laughs> so we got a deck. The basement's under construction as far as finishing. Flip it back as I walk in. So the basement's under construction. So coming too soon listing, like we've signed the listing, is withheld in the MLS. Why is it not in the MLS? Well, it's not Pinterest ready to show. If you're on Pinterest, you might know what I'm talking about. You know, the, the photos the, aren't, aren't all there. Some of the rooms need decluttering, but the basement's in the process of being finished. And I'll give you a peek at it, but it's not finished yet. So the owner wants people to know about it, Somebody could come, you know, tomorrow. You watch this video, you like the property, you could come tomorrow, make an offer, and then we could close, you know, late December, January, and the basement would be done by then, and then you'd have the house and move in. So it's still sellable. So in this case, on the topic of a coming soon listing, is it's something you could show. It's on Zillow. It's on, you know, our Remax results back portal, it's on Craigslist, it's on our blog, it's on obviously now social media. And you can find it that way. If you got an agent that you're working with, the agent could show you the property. If you don't have an agent you're working with and you're interested in it, you reach out to us. We show you the property and if you like it, we can just time out the sale, the closing with the finishing and having the house ready. So it's marketed a little bit. It's not fully marketed because it won't work for people coming through if they thought it was perfectly done. And that's kind of where a coming soon listing is one that it's not quite ready, but it's available and could be ready and time out with a sale. So that's part of the topic. Flipping the camera back, I'm in the house and we're going up the stairs. So obviously you're gonna see some of the house is really ready to show. Got a good sized family room, kitchen dining, vaulted ceilings. Three bedrooms on one level, that's a big thing. Three bedrooms on one level, five total bedrooms. Saw the deck briefly on the outside. So you don't have neighbors in the backyard, you have the church back there. You're not too far from I-35 here in Rush City. Um, you, you know, you can head north easy, head south easy. So it's a good location. Rush City, some people don't know where Rush City is. So if you came up I-35 and you went past Forest Lake and 
and Wyoming and Stacy and North Branch, then Harris, then um, then you hit Rush City. So it's in Chisago County. So like I said, three bedrooms up here, some nice finishes. At least I, th I like the flooring here in the bathroom and the countertop. So one bathroom on each level. The bathroom downstairs, like I said, it's under construction. It's got a, you know, like a, a jetted tub, a larger tub in it. Here is one of the bedrooms. So again, on the coming soon listing, we're looking at the master bedroom and in this bedroom it's got two closets basically a closet over here and again i don't like to spin you really fast and get you super super dizzy it's got a closet here <laughs> so we'll slowly back down i'm going to talk about the topic again a little bit on the coming soon listings and then we'll go downstairs so i'm going in intervals i'm flipping the camera flipping it back and so on the coming soon listing. So this home has got some staging done and I didn't show you one of the bedrooms. That one's not ready to show. And then downstairs, when I take you downstairs, you'll see the, the sun and the, the trim and all that's laying around because they're working on it. So like I said, just a few minutes ago, it's coming on the market when it's ready as far as full MLS because it's not ready for showings. They haven't completely staged it. So that's one. As far as staging the bedrooms and, and that, it's not completely finished, that's two. And it just doesn't work to have two, three, four people coming through a week or however, however many showings you get when it's that way. So we take the property on a coming soon listing. We withhold it from the MLS. There's a form that you do that. So it's an official listing. Um, and then we market it like we're marketing today and you see it on Zillow or maybe Craigslist or or a blog or on social media before or today in this video or on YouTube when you watch the video in the future if you if you find it on YouTube that kind of thing so it's a benefit then for sellers who want to sell would love to sell now but not quite ready like hey I'm ready to list it I'm just not ready to show it that's an example when you do a coming soon listing or I'm ready to list it and I'm ready to show it but I really don't want to move for four months and if I show it now I might be moving in two months but could we put it on and maybe we'll find somebody that wants to move in four months? That's another reason people do a coming soon listing. We'll talk about a couple more. Let's go downstairs. And as we stairs, I'll flip the camera. And I actually have my shoes today are different shoes. I'm going to walk some land. So if you see my shoes, like those are very nice shoes, Chuck. I, I know I shouldn't point those out, but I'm trying to be funny. I'm going to walk some land. So then I wear my third string shoes. It's like, you know, you don't wear your first string shoes on uh, when you're going to show land. So dogs are in the kennel. Don't worry. They're not going to get out and attack me. I don't think so. Maybe they will. Okay. So this is why we can't show it. Like it, you wouldn't have buyers come through and see the house like this, but it's almost done. You know, the cabinets are getting ready. The trim work needs to be done, but most of the carpet and the paintings done in the bathroom. Um, like I said, it's hard to see the lights up. It's got a nice tub going in. Flooring's in. It's started. It's getting there. There's two more bedrooms downstairs. So when you got a newer roof, you're gonna have a new downstairs. You got newer carpet, newer paint in most areas, and that that helps you because now you got a newer type of house. This one's going on the market 189.9 for the five bedrooms, two baths. Like I said, the deck, good size yard. Not really too many neighbors around you on this location, and. Back upstairs one more time. Again, if you're watching this, flip it back. Oh, my finger's in the way. <laughs> if you're watching this video, share it out. We've got the contest going. Um, this is our second video of the week. We'll probably have one more video. There'll be three videos, and the people who share those videos are entering in drawing for a weekly $25 gift card. I can see myself in the back. Hey, how am I holding the camera? <laughs> All right, so I just joke around a little bit because I know sometimes I do the boring, let's just show the house, and a lot of realtors do the boring, let's show the house. And then we have the thing where sometimes I've had guests or sometimes Michelle and I have done one together. And then we have what I'm doing today where we have a topic where we're talking about coming soon listings. And I've talked about, well, sometimes the house like this one where it's not quite ready, to, ready staging-wise and number two, not ready because they're finishing some stuff. And that's why it's coming soon. And then we've got the other situations where people are, 
you know, maybe ready to show, ready to list, but not ready to move because they want a few more months before they move. So then you have those situations where people want to do a coming soon listing where they sign the listing. It can be marketed. It's just withheld from the MLS. So whatever a couple, what are a couple other reasons people might, you know, um, do a coming soon type of withhold from the MLS listing and why would it be a benefit to them? And this is for if you're a seller, you might be like, ah, I want to I wanna sell in the spring, right? Uh, or if you're a buyer, you might say, I see that listing on Zillow. It says coming soon. Is it really available? Do I have to wait to buy it? And like I said, it, it depends on the seller. My first two examples, this seller, somebody could look at this video and say, yeah, I want to move to Rush City. I want a five-bedroom, two-bathroom house, and I want to buy it, and I want to close in January. That'd be fine. You could come look at it tomorrow, and we could get something together, and we could get the seller to line things up to have the house fully completed and close in January. So they're ready to sell now. It's just not ready. It's not Pinterest ready for showings until the work's done. And then we have the number two situation, which I talked about, which is somebody is not ready to move yet. So it may be ready for showings, ready for full listing, just like, hey, we don't want to move for four months. So they put it out there. And if somebody comes along and pays the right price and willing to wait four months, then they do a sale with them. So other situations we've had where uh, we do a coming soon listing might be like an estate sale. Could be similar to what I talked about. Maybe, you know, the family does want to sell it. They've got a few things to figure out and you know, maybe the house needs to be cleaned up or they need to sell some of the, the goods in the house before they show it. And then they want to, but it's a lot of work and it's going to take them two months to do it because it's just hard. That's their side job that they didn't really plan on having. So that's another instance where we've done a coming soon listing, got people out there and actually sold it. They got the stuff moved out on time for closing and it worked out. Um, there's other situations where the, you know, we've done, we've done a lot of coming soon listings where they've actually sold before they went on the MLS. Um, and they've been related to most of those, but there, there could be plenty of other reasons why somebody, somebody does a coming soon listing and they're not quite ready. Uh, sometimes it's just, they're celebrating an event and they want to, we want to have one last Christmas in our house. So put it out there. We don't want too many showings in December. But come January, we want to bang it out and sell it. And that could be a situation where now, and I'm, I'm guessing this will happen on a couple of listings, where we actually take listings, we start the pre-marketing in the coming soon, but they really don't want too many people coming through in December. But in January, hey, we're full board, let's get it listed, and we would sell it at any time. It's just we don't want tons of showings during this month. So that's about the fourth reason, just for the, the timing piece, they don't want showings. Um, plenty of other reasons could be a coming soon listing. Obviously, today I am at one that's coming soon. So you might ask, well, when's it actually going to be in the market? Well, when the basement's done. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, it doesn't have to be done tomorrow. It's kind of up to people. Now, now how the timing is of it, I would guess the basement will be done by the end of the year and it'll be a regular listing on the MLS next year. But again, on this particular case, on this property that you saw today, which I'll show you for a second again, and camera this one you saw today the five bedroom two bath with a deck three bedrooms up good size yard shut out back uh newer roof finishing the basement uh 189.9 you could come look at it buy it and close and have it finished in time so hope that helps a make sense of coming soon listings in general if you see them online what they could be about and then b if you, you don't have somebody interested in this one, if you're an agent or a buyer or know somebody who's looking to buy, please obviously keep this house in mind and let us know how we can help you. Chuck Harstenson, Remax Results. Thanks for watching. And again, share it out. Thanks.